Welcome to Davao del Sur State College. Your journey as a student of DSSC starts here. Davao del Sur State College is one of the youngest state colleges in the country. Here in DSSC, we take pride in providing free and quality education for all. We have redesigned our way of teaching and learning as we adjust to the new normal. Let's hear a message from our Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Oji Fuentes. I would like to proudly welcome our dear students of the Davao del Sur State College for this school year, 2020-2021, particularly the 1,800 plus freshmen and more than 2,000 continuing students. We have been in the thick of things in the past months due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which persists until this time. This unprecedented event has greatly affected higher education institutions, and that includes Davao del Sur State College. Our operation this school year will be totally different from the usual traditional teaching learning modalities, which this pandemic urgently requires us to shift and adapt new modalities. The SSC is now trying to complete the Flexible Learning System, or FLS, which will be used by both you, our students, and our faculty members. We ensure that this FLS is truly student-centered, that any student can easily participate in classes remotely. You will be allowed to choose available FLS options, such as a synchronous, printed modules, or a blended option. Hopefully, we will be allowed to see you one of these days through a limited face-to-face -face classes. Policies and guidelines of this option are now policed by CHED. I would be asking your utmost understanding and cooperation as we would want that education must continue despite facing difficulties and challenges. Adapting with the new normal, the SSC is trying its best to deliver the best strategies in attaining quality education and will be able to produce the best outcomes amidst this pandemic. Keep safe everyone and thank you very much. To introduce to you the general policies of our school, here's the Director of Student Services, Dr. Amelie Bellio. Hello everyone, welcome to Davao del Sur State College. I am your Director for Student Services, Dr. Amelie Tibelio, at your service. There are two points that I would like to highlight in this orientation. First, the Office of the Student Services, and second, the non-academic policies. The Office of the Student Services provides programs that are concerned with your academic support experiences for you to attain holistic development. It aims to help you develop physically, emotionally, morally, socially, and psychologically. There are various student services units which are headed by qualified officials who strives to provide quality and relevant student services in significant areas of guidance and counseling, scholarships and financial assistance, conduct and discipline, clubs, organizations, and activities, health, sociocultural, sports and athletics, student publication, supreme student government, campus ministry, and career and job placement. You may visit this FE pages for you to avail the different services they offer. For the scholarship offerings, the college offers academic and non-academic scholarships. For the academic scholarships, we have the President's List and Dean's List. And for the non-academic scholarships, we have the Sociocultural, Sports, and scholarships sponsored by our partner agencies such as CHED, OWA, LGU, Party List, and other organizations. The general policy of the college, a student, you are regarded as an expansion and reflection of the college. Hence, you are expected to be a model of the highest norms of behavior, suitable to a true scholar, a professional, and a respectable citizen. You are expected to be familiar in the vision, mission, and goals of the institution. You shall observe and respect the laws of the land, the standards of organized society, 
the Code of Conduct, Rules, and Regulations of the College. Upon entering the school premises, you must be in proper attire and well-groomed. Attire must be worn with respect and dignity. In this time of COVID pandemic, upon entering the school premises, you must wear a face mask, observe social distancing, and follow health protocols at all times. General prohibited attire when entering the school campus. Students are not allowed to enter when they are wearing sleeveless, sandal shirts or blouses, dresses or blouses with over plunging necklines, dresses or blouses with spaghetti straps, city shorts, torn shirts and pants, low waist or hip hugging pants, major tube blouses or shirts, off shoulder blouses, micro mini skirts, see through knitted shirts or blouses, t shirts with vulgar or offensive prints and designs, sleepers, and earrings for male students. For social norms of the school, a student, you in word and in deed, shall observe the usual norms of courtesy and etiquette. You are expected to show respect and regard to all faculty, staff, and visitors and cooperate in class activities. You shall refrain from doing untoward behavior and actions that tend to disrupt and disturb the teaching and learning process. For the student conducting discipline, a student, you shall at all times observe the rules and regulations of the college. Any violation on policies is subject to appropriate sanction as indicated in the college student handbook. We expect that you will behave properly and cooperate with us in the implementation of our school policies. We hope that you will enjoy your years of stay at GSSC and that you will be able to become the person that you want to be in the future. The best of luck to you all. Welcome to DSSC. I am Mabel B. Brigoli, the Director of Library Services. Our LRC goals. The DSSC Learning Resource Center shall provide support to instruction, research, extension, production, and other activities of its clientele with the use of organized and relevant resources. Our objectives? Acquire relevant and updated books, journals, electronic resources, and other forms of publications for instruction, research, and extension needs of the clientele. Implement and continuously improve the library services to the entire academic community. Sustain and create more library linkages. What is Learning Resource Center? The Learning Resource Center provides an important learning opportunity resource necessary to support the educational and training programs of the students, faculty, and staff. It consists of a growing collection of books and special projects, which includes e-journals and e-books. Importance of the ELRC Learning Resource Center benefits students by supplementing the learning process. It functions as a place to introduce, reinforce, and expand student learning, and it can be school or community-based. LRC provides access to learning materials. Who are our users? So, bona fide students of the SSC, faculty, and administration staff. What are our services? As of the moment, we have the provision of ebooks. So, you have the list of ebooks uploaded in our DSSC LRC group. So, you can join the group in order for you to be updated in our LRC. And for reference inquiry, you can send me a message through our FB Messenger. According to Benjamin Franklin, an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Thank you and have a good day. You belong to the Institute of Future Education, Arts and Sciences. Let's hear it from your dean, Dr. Melissa Alo. Our dear students, welcome to the Institute of Teacher Education, Arts and Sciences for the school year 2020-2021. I am Dr. Melissa Alo, your Institute Dean, with Dr. Cindy Birosil, the Department Chairperson of the Teacher Education Program, Dr. Cyberlin M. Camposano, the Department Chairperson of the Department of Arts and Sciences, and Professor Quinilin G. Almeres, the program head of the Bachelor of Technology and Livelihood Education. In the previous years, under normal classroom setting, 
we all endeavor to sustain the provision of quality education, making this institution a home of top notchers. Under the new normal classroom setting, the DSSC administration is creating a strategic plan and implement what is best to sustain the provision of the quality of education despite the challenges we are facing now. The use of a synchronous mode of delivery is our new classroom setting. We will be using virtual classrooms using the DSSC Learning Management System or LMS. The mode of delivery of instruction is blended learning. This means that we will be adopting a synchronous online learning for students who have internet connectivity and printed module for students based on survey do not have internet accessibility. Let us take this situation seriously as this would affect the quality and productivity of your chosen profession. Anyway, the use of this technology in the classroom has never been underscored than now. Your adjustment, acceptance of the current situation, and your determination to study with the instructor's multiple perspective and innovative teaching are only few ways to answer the demands of the quality of education. Because of this, I would like to emphasize significant information and policies that you need to remember to keep you in the teacher education program. This is the retention policy. For you to be retained in any of the program in the teacher education programs, you must meet the specific requirements for the program. That is, you should not have INC or incomplete grade upon enrollment and must not have failing grade. For the first and second year students, you must not have a grade lower than 2.5. Any student who obtain a grade of lower than 2.5 of the, any of the subject taken shall be automatically debarred and advised to shift to other program outside the teacher education programs. For the teacher and uh, for the third year and fourth year students in the teacher education program who obtain a grade of lower than 3.0 in any subject taken will be placed on probation for the succeeding semester. That is, you will only be allowed to enroll a maximum of 15 units for the semester. For adding and dropping of subjects, substitutions, or shifting and the like, students shall seek advice from the department chairperson and follow the procedures stipulated in the student's handbook. For your INC or incomplete grades, you are encouraged to settle this immediately with your instructor since you are only given one year to comply the needed requirements for the subject marked with INC. For all your academic concerns, Students shall seek first an advice or inform your class advisors, the department chairperson, before going to the dean. That's all, and again, welcome to Davao del Sur State College. There you have it, guys. Once again, welcome to Davao del Sur State College. For any inquiries, just visit DSSC Student Services SB page. Don't forget, wear your face mask. Observe social distancing and always disinfect your hands. See you around!